All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we got an update on what's going on in the lightweight division where a whole lot of people are saying Devin Haney is getting ready to duck Gervonta Tank Davis because he has approached Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing to fight at 140 pounds against Regis Progre, the WBC junior welterweight champion. But before we get into that, uh, let's just, I just want to tell you real fast about today's sponsor, the Boxing Showtime app. It's a very useful app that keeps you updated on all things boxing, and you can keep up with the latest fights, where to watch them, the latest news, and a lot more. For any hardcore boxing fan like myself, and most likely all of you, all of y'all, I would definitely recommend downloading it. Uh, and it also is a most definitely a big support uh, to the channel. It's available for both Apple and Android, and you can find the link in the description below. Uh, thanks uh, for considering getting uh, downloading Boxing Showtime's app. But let's get back into the subject matter of the video. Now, I know that a lot of y'all keep telling me how much of a big Devin Haney hater I am because I refuse to tell you guys what you want to hear. Sorry, that is what you call short money. Cannot do it. Not going to tell you everything that is going on over there in that camp is 100% on the up and up or give this man unnecessary credit things for things that either he did not do and just wanted to do or lie to you and tell you that Errol, that the fight with Vasily Lomachenko was not close and that people that think that Devin Haney lost had reason to believe so. Can't do it. However, it goes both ways. I also, in this instance, cannot tell you that I view Devin Haney moving up to 140 pounds and fighting Regis Progre as a duck of Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson. And why is that? Because if you cannot make the weight, you cannot make the weight. He, Devin Haney, has been at 135 pounds for since he was 16 years old, he's now 24 years old. That's eight years. At 16 years old, you're still going through puberty. So looking at how he looks in the weigh-ins going into those fights, completely emaciated, looks like a skeleton. It would be wrong of me to say that he does not have the right, without my criticism, to go up and fight 100 at 140 pounds, especially if he goes up to move up to 140 to fight the toughest fight of his life, which would be against Regis Rougarou Progre out of the great city of New Orleans. That is no way, shape, nor form an easy fight for Devin Haney. And in fact, I don't know if he wins it. And I'm really maybe at this point leaning towards Regis Progre in that fight. Regis Progre does not have a pretty style. He does not. He's not a jab and move, jab and move type of guy. But what he is is somebody as a southpaw that is a that is a slick, underrated defensive with underrated defensive abilities and massively underrated power. <laughs> He can dent Devin Haney's can for sure. And fighting from the southpaw stance and being much bigger than guys like the guys like Jojo Diaz and Vasily Lomachenko, he is going to connect with, with Devin Haney, who has been less, less um apt to move around the ring and jab and run and jab not necessarily run but jab and move jab and move jab and move jab grab and move that's not going to work with with you know, with with uh Regis Progre so i think it's a very very good fight now is Regis Progre as good a fighter as Gervonta Davis and Shakur Stevenson i think the fair answer to that is no 
I don't think that he that that he is. However, it's not necessarily, in my opinion, about Devin Haney and whether or not he can beat Shakur Stevenson and whether he can fight beat Gervonta Davis. Because I honestly don't think he can beat either one of them, especially after that last fight with Lomachenko. And but if he does stay at 135 pounds, he deserve the rematch belongs with Vasily Lomachenko. Point blank, period, in my opinion, because that was a very close fight. Some people thought it was a robbery. I, I, I have to tell you that I don't agree with that. I don't think that it was a robbery, not the way that I would define a robbery. Also, there are people that think that it was an easy fight, easy win for Devin. No, it was not. So the long and short of it for me is if Devin Haney stays at 135 pounds, he needs to fight Vasily Lomachenko in the rematch. So if he is moving up to 140 pounds and not staying at 135, if he's ducking anybody, he's ducking Vasily Lomachenko, a guy that has proven that he can fight and has the ability to beat Devin Haney. Now, I have to say this also, because we do live in a world where many people operate under the, let me apply the same standard to you that you apply to other people. If I was a, if I were to apply, apply the same Devin Haney logic, the same logic that Devin Haney fans apply and that Devin Haney applies when they call people ducks, then absolutely him moving up in weight and not fighting Gervonta Davis or Shakur Stevenson next or, or Vasily Lomachenko next would be a duck because their definition of duck is that as long as Devin Haney says he wants to fight, no matter what the circumstances are, you have to fight Devin Haney or you ducked him. Case in point, Vasily Lomachenko, who was looking to who Devin Haney was looking to fight four years ago. Four years ago, Vasily Lomachenko was trying to collect the belts. Devin Haney didn't have any belts and was not. He may have been ranked in the top 10, but he was just like all the other guys ranked in the top 10. He had not separated himself from a crowd of uh, from the crowd of contenders other than what with his mouth. So now. And but yet people insisted that Lomachenko was ducking Devin Haney at that point in time. I said that Lomachenko was not ducking Devin Haney. He doesn't have a responsibility to fight him. And it's not unreasonable in the scenarios that took place later where he fought for a unification title with uh, Teofimo Lopez that that could be considered a duck either because Devin Haney was not as mandatory. And even if he was, unifications trump mandatories so i can understand where people are saying look gervonta davis and gervonta davis's team is saying look when i get done x and x and gervonta davis said that specifically said when i get done with these next two dudes i'm coming for you so if he got rid of his two dudes he got rid of hector garcia he got rid of ryan garcia And if Devin Haney is not there and able to fight him when that fight comes up under terms that are acceptable to both people, hey, man, I can understand why they would say it's a duck. Me personally, though, I have to be consistent in the way that I apply that term. And if Devin Haney cannot make the weight and he does not fight anybody else at 135 pounds, I would say that is not a duck of Gervonta Davis but I'll leave it up to you to decide how you apply that word for yourself that's my take on the matter you let me know what you think in the comment section and with that I'm out peace